I wanted to do a quick review on my Q Venture. Start off, it's a really pretty watch, as you can see. It has a nice rhinestones. Um, they make it look really pretty just for the looks of it, not even being a smart watch. I get a lot of compliments on this fossil watch. And then um, it has a really a lot of great features. Um, first off, you get to pick the face setting. There's a lot of different apps with millions of different customizations. Um, you can even put like a picture as a background. You can choose for it to stay on or it can just turn on when you flip your wrist, um, which is really nice. And then um, I chose this setting with the different widgets on it. You can choose different things. I personally um, chose this type of um, digital time display. Um, my next calendar um, event coming on the bottom. Up here I chose to have the battery um, settings to show me how much battery is left. I chose to have my steps displayed right here and the date up there. That's just my personal preference but you can really change it up however you want. And then you swipe up from the bottom to see all your notifications. So depending what you have, um, what apps you have on your phone and what different notifications you personally chose. And then you can um, swipe down from the top for your settings. So the brightness level, airplane mode, turn it on to silence. And then there's lots of different settings here that you can cho choose. The display settings, which I was, you could change the watch face. So you can, you know, have this type of display, this type. And there's even a lot more that you can download um, from online. Um, other settings that you can go through are the notifications. Um, you want it to vibrate when, how. Um, and the different vibrate patterns okay then the different apps so you can download different apps onto your watch and a lot of them sync up with your phone which is great so you have the Google Play Music um, which is actually really cool because you can um, you can um, go to the next song pa play pause just from your watch it does not however play the music through your watch so it plays it through your phone or whatever speaker that you have your phone connected with but you can do like pause next things like that so you can like keep your phone in one place and have headphones in um, you have your keep lists here you do have Google Maps on it which is nice your text messages if I downloaded this Pilster app to help keep track of my medication the nest app which is one of my favorite um, that is um, for my thermostat so here let me go to my apps so you just hold it down so, um, you tap it twice on the spine. So there's only one button here. So tap that twice to get to your apps. That was like under the settings app. So that was like if I wanted to in uninstall it. So let me go through them here. The flashlight, which is nice, just, um, lights up your phone just like that. So you can use it as a flashlight. Um, really fun at concerts. Um, <laughs> Then uh, I have this app called Wear Stand Alert. Um, basically, you set it um, how often to remind you to stand up if you're working at a sedentary um, um, job, which is really great. Um, I actually have to pay for that app. So like I said, it every 15 minutes, if I'm not moving, at least 15 steps, remind me and I just stand up and things like that. The flashlight, the Play Store agenda, you can set alarms. Um, which is really great because it's right on your wrist. Contacts, find my phone, I use that a lot. So you basically just hit find my phone and then it rings your phone so that you can find your phone, which is really cool. Here's my phone and it just rings your phone. Um, I use that a lot because I'm always losing my phone. So I just hit that. Um, the Fit app, which is really great, the Fit Workout. We talked about the flashlight, keep maps, messages. So the Nest that I was talking about before um, so I love this. This works with my thermostat. Um, so here we go. We go to the dining room. So if you have like different thermostats all over the house and right here, I'm just changing my thermostat to the temperature that I want it to be at, which is a super lazy way of doing things, but it is great. Play music I talked about. Reminders that goes into your calendar. The stopwatch, which is great if you just need it. The Wink app, another great lazy tool. Um, if you have um, smart lights in your house, that is really great. So you're turning on and off lights in your house with your watch. It's really cool. So stopwatch timer, self-explanatory, translate if you need Google Translator, um, the weather, which is nice. And then you can have your feed, your Google feed right here. So, you know, your apps like, you know, what's going on if something's being shipped to you. 
the temperature, which is nice. Um, another thing, I, you can use the um, Google Assistant, which is something I use a lot. So I'll just, it goes up and it goes, hi, how can I help? And, okay. <laughs> so let's say I'll do it for alarms. Like, remind me to take out the trash at 10 o'clock tonight. And simple as that. Or another example is, let's say I'm putting something in the oven. Um, I'll go, remind, set an alarm to, let's try that again, hold on. Set an alarm in 20 minutes to take the cookies out of the oven. And then it rings on my watch, take the cookies out of the oven, which is really, that is something I use all the time. Um, one of my favorite features. And um, I could do, for example, turn off bedroom light. Okay, that didn't work. I guess it's not connected to Wi Fi properly. Um, I'm coming back. <laughs> okay. And so there's lots of really great features. Um, and it shows you the new photos from your album, things like that. And um, now let's go to my phone and see different settings. So what can you do with the um, Assistant app? So you can set timers, get the weather, make calls, set alarms, play music, find answers, get fit, open apps, get conversations, calculate, look up words, and get translation. So let me show you examples of a few of those. Um, for example, what is the weather going to be like tomorrow? And then pops right that up. So it doesn't talk to you, but you can talk to it. So that's one annoying thing. Like it has a mic to hear you, but there's no sound on it. So that is one thing that is a little bit annoying, but it's doable. Or I'll be like, call home. And then my phone will call and it, it says which one okay so you can specify and it just shows the different home numbers um, or I'll be like call home on speaker and then your phone will ring and call that number and then you have to pick up from your phone um, unless it's on speaker which is nice or um, or things like that so basically or for example what is five plus five So there you go. So it's just like a handy assistant kind of thing. Um, you cannot actually make any phone calls with it. I know there are some smartwatches which you can, um, and those are nice because you can actually just talk into your watch. This is not one of those. Um, I personally chose um, the vanity aspect, the prettiness of the watch over having certain features that um, other watches such as the, um, the Samsung watches have. Um, and the NFC chip, it does not have an NFC chip. But yeah, as you can see, it's really easy to take off, snap off, and then you just put this, it has um, one of those chargers that you don't connect the magnetic ones and you just put it on there. So you have to be careful that it's lined up properly. Um, and it's pretty thin, as you can see, it is not so clunky on your wrist, um, like some other smartwatches. So the technology really isn't there yet for smartwatches to make the phone calls and be independent. I know there are smartwatches out there that you can just put your SIM card in there or have a separate SIM card and an NFC chip. This is not one of those, um, but this is a pretty watch. Plus it has a lot of really cool features. Um, I do have to charge it every day. Sometimes it dies before the end of the day. I guess it depends how often you're using your watch. But for me, um, a lot of times it does die towards the end of the day and I for sure have to charge it every night. Um, which is kind of annoying because then I don't have a watch at night um, if like for alarms or things and it does vibrate with alarms in the morning which is something that's nice but I'm not really able to use that feature if it's being charged during the um, night um, anyway thanks for watching this review I hope um, you enjoyed it and it helped you make your decision if you should get this watch or not